Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Today we have a STEM design challenge. Now, here at Fun Science Demos, we try to build simple things with simple materials. And today we're going to try and build a catapult with nothing but binder clips and rubber bands. Some catapult designs can be really complicated and you need hot glue and you need all kinds of different materials to make it work. And some catapult designs are really simple, but they don't work that well. Well, we think we can create a catapult with just these materials that works really well. Now to build a catapult, we need an energy source. And you may think that the energy source for our catapult is going to be the spring in this binder clip, but it's not. This binder clip is actually just going to hold our energy source a rubber band or two. Now I can put energy into a rubber band simply by stretching it. There's a lot of energy in there and I can shoot it and watch it fly across the room. I need to stretch this rubber band around this binder clip so that I can harness the energy in that rubber band. Here's how we do it. So we've zoomed in so you can see how this works. So we're gonna hold our binder clip up and we have these two arms. Notice the, the gap between the two arms. All I'm gonna do is pinch the rubber band and slide it through those arms. Now comes the stretching part. So I'm going to hold one end of my rubber band and I'm going to stretch the other one over top of those arms. Okay, now I'm going to stretch the bottom over top and now I have a stretched rubber band. I need to stretch it even more to get this to work. Believe it or not, our catapult's almost ready to go and you can see how it works here. I have a rubber band that's stretched around the arms but I need to stretch it even further by pulling this arm back and you can see my rubber band stretch. Now it's hard to hold and I'm going to need to have some kind of base that I can pinch in between the binder clip but here you can see our catapult in action. If I let go of this, it launches. So we have our catapult but we need a base to stabilize that catapult. So I'm thinking we could use a ruler, a deck of cards, a, a roll of tape, anything that would work. Now the thing about this binder clip, you'll notice the ruler is just a little too small. Or if I made my catapult out of a smaller binder clip, that would be perfect. So I'm gonna try using the roll of tape. I'm gonna squeeze this, and now I have a nice, secure, solid base where I can pull back my catapult. And you can see it stays by itself because I can actually wedge it in under the tape and I just flick it and it launches. Now we need something to launch. We could use mini marshmallows, we could use cheese balls, we could try a ping pong ball, we could try little tiny goldfish, but we decided we're gonna go with a little rubber eraser because it's soft and it's safer. We've zoomed in so you can see why our rubber erasers are perfect. They're the perfect size to rest right on that arm of that binder clip. I don't even need to build a platform to hold whatever I'm going to launch. It's all ready to go and you can see it launches. So our catapult's loaded and ready to launch. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. If you, it happens so quickly because my, my catapult's pretty powerful, but it actually flipped forward and held on to this eraser and launched it straight into the table and ended up bouncing. That means it's releasing this too late. I need it to release that sooner so that I can get a nice high arc. So we have to fix some things. So we've taken our rubber band, our energy source, off our catapult so we can talk about what's going on. What's happening is I load a rubber eraser. It's staying on the platform too long, and when it gets to here, it's throwing our eraser down onto the table. So I have to change the angle at which this thing launches. So I could angle up my whole launch pad and see if that actually makes a difference, or I could put something in my catapult which prevents the arm from coming all the way forward and forces it to launch it higher. I could try something like a pencil, but we're gonna try something a little bit bigger. We're gonna try getting this piece in there so that we get a, a different release angle. Let's see what happens. So here's what we came up with to modify our catapult to see if we can get it to launch at a different angle. We wedged in this little thing and we're gonna try and see what happens. Stretch it back place on my eraser. I'm gonna angle it a little bit. Three, two, one. Yes! There are so many things we can do with this design. If this isn't strong enough, I could stretch another rubber band. I'll double it up, 
stretch it over. I could try three rubber bands. I could try four rubber bands. I could actually measure the distance to see how much further my projectile goes once I add a rubber band. Now the one thing you'll probably find as you continue to launch is that this rubber band really gets stretched and they do break. So you are going to need a good supply of rubber bands because you will go through the rubber bands. Now, this is a big binder clip. These smaller binder clips are easier to find. Let's see how these work. So now I have my smaller catapult, smaller binder clip, same stretched rubber band. I put two rubber bands on this time. And you'll notice I slid a pencil in to change the launch angle. Now all I need is a base and I can get my ruler. And now I'm ready to go. Let's see how this one works. We're gonna launch it sideways. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's try another one straight at the camera. Three, two, one. <laughs> These things are really moving quickly. So, so far we've been able to make our catapult better by going back and redesigning. But we've also noticed that it was hard to balance our little rubber eraser on that small arm of our binder clip. So what if we made some modifications to that? What if I put a little tiny piece of tape to make kind of like a little cradle to hold that clip? Let's see if that actually works a little better. Yes, it balances beautifully on that. Let's try shooting it. Three, two, one. Perfect. We could also try using a paper cup. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut down the side, but leave the bottom on the cup with a little bit on the back part of the cup. So I'm going to cut down. I'm going to cut down. Now, leave, making sure to leave on the bottom, I'm just going to cut that outer side of the cup off. And now I have a little basket that if I can attach it, should be able to hold my eraser. Let's try attaching this. So then all I had to do with a paper cup was tape it to my arm because I'm pretty sure it'll fly off if I don't tape it to the arm. And now I have a nice little basket that should hold this. And see what kind of launch we get. Three, two, one. Perfect. The other nice thing about using this paper cup to make a little holder for my catapult is I can use this to launch more than one thing. Let's see what this does. Three, two, one. <laughs> With a few rubber bands and a binder clip, you can build your own catapult. Now I have to warn you, with a lot of rubber bands, this rubber eraser or whatever you decide to launch will go far. It could go 5, 10, 15 meters. I've actually launched this all the way across my classroom and bounced it off the wall. They are so much fun. If you want to learn some more STEM design ideas, check out our YouTube channel, Fun Science Demos. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching.